Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's episode mga video mga for today's episode of our video mga sis, pag-uusapan po natin kung kailan ang pinak perfect or kailan ang best start na dumaan sa or what particular age ang pinaka pinaka best or perfect time na dumaan sa proseso ng hormone replacement therapy. Others might say na this video is a bit redundant. Yes, I have to admit na I already uploaded a video na somewhat related or somewhat similar to this particular content. Pero yun, yung video na yun mga sis is full English siya. And upon reading the comment section, isa sa mga talagang comments na palaging nababasa ko is, Sis, why not create a video na Tagalog para naman maka makaintindi yung mga mga taga or mga Filipino viewers ko or Tagalog viewers ko. So, as my way of addressing that particular plea or concern, gagawin ko ang particular na video na ito. So, uulitin ko ang particular video na yan. At in this particular episode of our video, pag-uusapan po natin mga sis kung kailan ang pinaka tama or perfect timing or perfect start na dumaan sa proseso ng hormone replacement therapy. Pero bago natin sisimulan ang video na yan, very important disclaimer, I'm not a doctor. I am not an endocrinologist. I'm not a person working in the field. I am not a person working in the field of medicine. And these these ideas na ibabahagi ko sa inyo guys, it's based on my based on the knowledge that I gained throughout throughout the entirety of this process. Since I'm a transgender and I'm proud to say na dumaan rin ako sa proseso ng hormone replacement therapy for almost two years. Unfortunately. Isa sa mga harsh reality ng transitioning is it is really not meant for everyone. So yun nga, I just found out that HRT is really not meant for me considering the fact, considering my health condition. I just found out that I have this thing called congenital heart defect. So yun nga, upon knowing na meron akong heart problem, so agad akong huminto. Agad akong huminto sa pagdaan sa proseso ng hormone replacement therapy. Now, aside from that, these ideas nakuha ko rin siya sa mga transgender friends ko sa Facebook. Aside from that, meron akong Facebook page na sinalihan, specifically Transgender Health PH. And I really find that page na napaka-beneficial and informative, most especially those transgenders na gustong dumaan sa proseso ng HRT and those person na currently dumadaan sa proseso ng HRT. Through that page, nalaman ko kung ano yung mga bagay na dapat kong gawin. Most especially those person who are self-medicating. I have to be honest na when I was transitioning before, I'm just self-medicating since at first, wala akong kaide-idea na kailangan palang kumonsulta sa isang endocrinologist. So, you're, yun nga, I'm self-medicating and I'm so thankful for that particular page since I learned so many things, not just ordinary things, but... I find those things really essential and needed sa proseso ng hormone replacement therapy. Pero bago natin sisimulan ang discussion na yan, mga sis, at this very point in time, I will be presenting to you some of the successful and young millennial trans pinay. And I must say, guys, na I want you guys to observe sa kanilang transformation since ang maobserbahan niyo regarding sa kanilang transformation is Somewhat related rin sa question, when is the best time or perfect time to start hormone replacement therapy? In other words, you will be identifying kung ano yung mga ras one of the reasons kung bakit nagiging successful sila sa proseso ng hormone replacement therapy. Now, very important disclaimer, I do not own these photos. I only got this photo sa Transgender Health PH, my isang, my person na part ng page na yun, or my person na kasali sa page na yun na nag-share ng particular pictures na ito at yun nga unfortunately guys walang name yung mga transgenders na pinost niya may mga transgenders na kilala, kilala ko since napakasikat nila at trans pinay or transgender millennial icons talaga sila at yung iba naman I must say na maganda ang kanilang transformations pero hindi ko sila kilala and I don't have the chance to know them upang humingi ng permission to use their to use their pictures para sa particular video na ito. So, 
Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so that's it. One thing is for sure, ang ganda talaga ng mga ang ganda talaga ng transformation nila and they are a step towards fulfilling their dreams mga sis and to be honest, I must say na they are indeed successful sa proseso ng hormone replacement therapy. Going back to the main content of this vlog, kailan ang pinaka best start to start hormone replacement therapy? By the way, guys, I don't have the chance to ask these transgenders kung ano yung mga hormone combos na currently they're using for their hormone replacement therapy since hindi ko kilala yung iba at yung iba naman kilala ko nag-PM ako nag-PM ako sa kanila or nag-private message pero unfortunately even up to this day hindi pa rin ako nakatanggap ng reply so baka busy mga si so it is something I understand So the question is, kailan ang pinaka best time or perfect time or perfect timing to start undergoing hormone replacement therapy? So, based sa mga, based sa mga pictures or based doon sa mga transformation ng transpenite millennials na nakita nyo. So, as you can see, they started at a very young age, mga sis. So, yun ang isa sa mga rason, age factor. Isa sa mga factors na dapat i-consider sa success ng hormone replacement therapy is yung age. I have to clarify na I have to clarify guys na age is one of the many factors. Maraming mga factors na dapat i-consider. So yun nga yung age. Sa HRT the earlier the bit. The earlier the better. Ang pinaka main purpose talaga ng proseso ng hormone replacement therapy is para we can't really deny the fact na we are born or ipinanganak tayong biological na lalaki. So, as much as possible, we need to get rid of the puberty of males. So, yun talaga yung pinaka-essence ng puberty. And as much as possible, maranasan natin yung puberty ng mga, maba mga babae. For that, that way, or, se or undergoing such puberty ng mga babae, that will help us to experience development of secondary female characteristics such as development of breast and many other developments. Since we had we transgenders, meron tayong tinatawag na gender dysphoria or pakiramdam na feeling na parang natrap tayo sa maling katawan. So, in order to address that, kailangan nating dumaan sa proseso ng HRT. Nagtitake tayo ng mga estrogen, testosterone blocker. That way, naitatama natin kung ano yung... Naitatama natin kung ano yung kamalian sa at kamalian na ating nararamdam na, nararamdaman. So yun nga, age in HRT, the earlier the better. Pero, for those person na pakiramdam nila, they started way too late on this particular process, huwag kayong mawala ng pag-asa mga citizens. Marami din naman ako mga kakilalang transgenders na they started way too late on this particular process. Yung iba, late 20s na, 30s, at yung iba nga, 50s na sila nag-start. Pero, so far... Seeing into their transformations right now, masasabi ko na successful pa rin sila sa prosesong pinagda pinagdadaanan nila. And it's because they're also considering other factors. As I've mentioned, age is just one of the many factors to consider in the success of hormone replacement therapy. So, yung hormone combos na ginagamit mo, dapat mo rin siya i-consider. And also, your lifestyle and your physical 
physical features, importante rin siya mga sis. Dapat i-consider, aside from the age, dapat rin i-consider yung ibang factors. Since these factors, dapat talaga, they need to work together for you to achieve your desired purpose in HRT. And that is success in this particular process. I think that would be all, guys. To answer the question, kailan ang pinaka-best time to start hormone replacement therapy? Ang pinaka-perfect time is before or age be before or before mo naranasan or ang perfect time is before mo naranasan yung tinatawag nila na puberty ng mga lalaki. And I'm also not discriminating those person na pakiramdam nila they started way too late since HRT is the most important thing there is you need to trust in the process if para tal para sa iyo talaga ang particular na process na ito para sa iyo talaga mga sis no one can stop you no one can you know stop you from achieving what you wanted to achieve in this particular process so i think that would be all guys thank you so much for watching i really hope that you find this video informative if nagustuhan mong video na ito wag kalimutang i-click ang like button and also to click the subscribe button as your way of showing support to my channel. Once again, thank you so much for watching. God bless us all and see you in my next video.